Hey, that's Pop and Peeps. Tough Ocean 77 here today for a, another. Okay. Another South Park bad episode review. And for this episode, it's one of the most infamous episodes of the show and the top three most infamous. But I would not say it's as bad as Whale Horse. Now, everyone knows this episode. For being horrible and infamous. And this episode is Mr. Garrison's fancy new vagina. Now the episode, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's pretty bad. But it's not nearly as bad as whale whores. I mean, it completely got wrong quite a lot about transgender people. And... That is just one of the things, which, mm, the character's designs are also really grotesque. It can't keep with one simple plot point. It's just all over the place with a ton of stuff, and I think that's the main reason why it doesn't work. Now, similar to the episode where Ike's teacher ends up, well, committing suicide because... She has had sex with Ike, and no one cares because she's a female teacher who's had sexual relations with a child, and she, according to them, is hot. I mean, that episode, it's bad, but at least it knew to keep the same plot point and not start to jump all over the place for no reason. I mean... This episode goes from Mr. Garrison wanting to have a sex change and actually showing live sex change footage. I mean, I'm fine if you want to have a sex change. I'm fine if you show that on a TV show. Well, I'm... That's not what I mean. What I mean is, I'm fine if someone wants to have a sex change. I'm fine if a character on a TV show wants to have a sex change. But please, just don't show actual live footage of it. That is just, I cannot deal with that. I've dealt with the splinter from Spongebob. I've dealt with pineapple fever when Squidward gets his eyebrow fucking ripped off. I've dealt with how fancy when Squidward gets his toenail ripped off. But no, please, no live sex changes. Just, I do not like watching that procedure at all. And it was pretty disgusting, but that's not even the worst problem with this episode. What Kyle and Gerald end up looking like are, I mean, just look hideous. Nearly as hideous as I look. And, well, aside from that, I mean, it pokes a ton of fun at something that's actually quite a serious issue in today's society. And Mr. Garrison, yes, I'm going to say Mr. Garrison because... He currently is back to being a male is one of the most unlikable characters in this episode he goes from being an actual sensible human who is actually confused about his true gender and identity to being an absolute douchebag about everything because he thinks his way should be the only way that's followed that's one of my biggest problems with this modern society as well that everyone just wants to hear their own way and they are completely ignorant and refuse to go and listen to anyone else as if that other person does not think 100% the way they do. And honestly, that really pisses me off. But showing this in a character, it makes it much worse because, especially due to the fact that Mr. Garrison has been an extremely passable and likable character throughout the many seasons before this and Think about it. This was the first episode of season 9. Think about what they got themselves into. I mean, come on. This was probably the day the show died. Season 20 and 21, well, I don't know about if they killed the show or not. But, I mean, this episode, it's... Not as bad as Whale Horse, like I've said, but it's still a pretty god-awful episode. But at least it is bearable. Overall, 
I give the episode a 4 to 10. Please do not watch if you want to keep your sanity. Anyways, guys, this has been Typhlosion787, and I'm out of the house. Bye.